My name is Marietta Mahani and this week's aqua tip is from Karen Kulo. Karen is a wonderful instructor living in Adelaide in Australia and she's part of the aqua mentoring group. So I've been wanting to share some of the amazing goodness that these people come up with the rest of the world. And the, the drill was because my instructors get homework and if you want to know more about it, click on the link below. But the homework was to come up with a brand new move you have never taught before in a class. And this really stretches people's creativity. And I really like with what she came up with. So let's talk about the feet first. It's a crisscross jack with a turn. It's very clever. So I'm gonna start with the right leg crossing in front first. We're gonna go one, two, and three. You spin around, but you end up with the left leg crossed over in front, and then you jump out, and then the left leg crosses over. So you go one, two, three, turn, and because your right leg's in front, that's the leg that's going to cross in front now. So one, two, three, spin around, and one, two, three, spin around, and one, two, three, spin around, and one, two, three, spin around. Now I've added some arms. So the arms are one, two, three, and then I drag that arm around as I spin around. And when you spin around, your legs are crossed over the other way, and that tells you which leg now needs to cross over in front. I love this coordination. I love it, I love it. So let's have a look at it again. So the right leg crosses over first. One, two, three, and that will tell you which way you're spinning. You just drag the arm back. And you jump out your left legs in front so one two three now the right arm one two three left arm and one two three right arm and one two three left arm one two three right arm and around so What's really interesting about this is I'm really getting an amazing lower body workout. I actually really felt that all down the side of my legs. I felt it in my glutes in a way I do not normally feel with jumping jack. I don't feel my legs work that hard normally with the jumping jack. It's all my arms and I'm doing that upper body workout. The really nice thing about that spin is that one arm drag, which really activates those muscles. I think it's very, very cool. Thank you so much, Karen. This is got definitely going into my class. There's a level of coordination, but there's a harmony to it. There's a harmony to it as to like, knowing which legs should cross over in front. Thank you so much, Karen. And that is this week's Aquative. Now, I was watching my video in the pool and I realized the way I was counting it was different once I got into it. So I started with my feet wide and went, you know, one, two, three, and then turn around. So you actually start with your legs crossed and you count the jumps out. So if you start with your right leg in front, it becomes one, two, and then you spin on that one and then you come around to the other side. Then it's one, two, and you spin the other way. So my recommendation is you start with the legs crossed. Start with the legs crossed. And that makes sense musically as well. Because if you start here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, and then you can start that one again. Now, this is so cool. I need to explain something about the turn. Now, hopefully you're on pool deck and this is one of those times a slightly slippery surface is in your favor. Mm. If you're on one of those really grippy mats, you're going to feel it in a joint like your knees, your big toe or your ankles, depending on, well, you know, if you've ever had any injuries. I highly recommend that you get off the mat 
for this one. Just be mindful of when you're jumping out. You do need to demonstrate this with both legs, but if you start with the right leg in front and you jump out, remember it's the right leg stays in front till you've completed your turn. So it goes right leg out, jump, right leg across again, jump and then you're here and you turn. Now you can do it on a grippy surface. I'm clearly on carpet and I can do it. It's actually not that hard. The arms go one, two, and then you swoosh that water around. It's great. One, two, and then you swoosh that water around. I really like this. It's a really nice piece of choreography. It flows so well. Karen, thank you so much for sharing that with myself and all the other aqua mentoring uh, participants. So if you're interested in joining this very unique, it's a world first, no one else does something remotely like this. It's very much a community. We get together, we share ideas, and I think I'm a better instructor for it. So thank you, Karen. That's this week's Aqua Tip. Make sure to click subscribe or click on the link to check out the Aqua Mentoring.